குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl. good morning students this video continuation of uh, previous videos previous videos we discussed about uh, type study of uh, cockroach the two introduction part already completed introduction part we discussed about morphology of cockroach and then uh, classification of cockroach we seen okay head part thoracic part abdominal part on that time i said na this part is head part thoracic part remaining part abdominal part this video regarding elementary canal nothing but digestive system of cockroach we will be learn let me start today video session see na cockroach anatomy the meaning of anatomy you are all are very well known anatomy means internal arrangement of the organ whether you remembered or not at introduction of the 11th standard chapter symmetry we discussed symmetry tells about the anatomy of organs so botany also this part this top chapter is there anatomy of flowering plants like so anatomy tells about internal arrangement of the organs in the one individual one organism okay so uh, how we seen in the physiology physiology means that anatomical organs what they are doing function nothing but we seen digestive system and digestive system function and respiratory system respiratory system function so in the human physiology time human anatomy and then human physiology also we seen in this type study cockroach anatomy they are doesn't give any physiology just that structure of cockroach that we started cockroach anatomy here elementary canal of the cockroach cockroach elementary canal nothing but digestive system of cockroach so that elementary canal cockroach made up of are consisting with a three distinct regions three distinct regions there are three distinct regions are one is foregut and midgut and hindgut okay see elementary canal also called as a gut correct only na that not also called as a gastro that is the reason if any problem related with the stomach and intestinal gastric problem we are saying gastro means stomach that word is a uh, nickname of the gut and a nickname of the st- elementary canal gut also one of the nickname so the elementary canal of the cockroach distinct the three different regions that is a foregut and midgut and a hindgut see that a generalized statement is i wrote here elementary canal start with the mouth and the anus why i mentioned this one mean go back of these phylum okay cockroach belongs to which phylum arthropoda phylum then previous phylum arthropoda ki munnadi anelida is there anelida ki munnadi ascii helminthes is there then Hel- platy helminthes is there in platy helminthes and ascii helminthes we doesn't see in complete digestive system some of the ascii helminthes organisms are having the complete digestive system that mean complete digestive system we can say which is the digestive system is having the two openings one is the mouth another one is the anus those system we call the such a digestive system we call the complete digestive system okay so mouth see nana okay so such a digestive system we call the complete mouth and anal pore consisting uh, a digestive canal okay or elementary canal or gut then uh, come to the 
cockroach elementary canal that cockroach elementary canal as usual similar to our elementary system elementary canal but uh, different structures are there why different structure mean cockroach belongs to invertebrate uh, human being belongs to chordate that too highly advanced organism according to the evolutionary these uh, cockroach uh, invertebrate that too primitive organism belongs to arthropoda so a uh, special significant uh, structures we seen in the cockroach elementary canal that uh, one mouth uh, another one oral cavity that is the same salivary glands that is also same with our body and pharynx that is also same with our body and crop this is a something different okay in our body that instead of the crop we have the stomach okay the which place after eating of the food after swallowing which place food is stored swallowed food or grinding food which place is stored that place we call as a crop in the invertebrates in the vertebrates we call the stomach okay then after that uh, gizzard important structure in the explanation time i will explain about these uh, impo significance of gizzard okay and then hepatic cecca in our body we have the liver instead of the liver uh, these invertebrate cockroach having the hepatic cecca a similar structure okay not same structure similarities okay uh, what is the function in our body liver is performing the same function is done by the hepatic cecas in the cockroach and then uh, um, secretory part absorbed part that belongs to mid gut and then come to the next one uh, ileum colon rectum anus i think so these three parts uh, these four parts also same in our body okay so that's why i compared the cockroach elementary canal with the human elementary canal so similar stru structures we find so individually what is their functions we will know see four gut starting with the mouth that mouth parts in the previous video i drawn the one diagram belongs belongs to mouth parts of cockroach mouth mouth parts of cockroach belongs to which type nana biting and chewing correct only na mandibles are there that mandibles are uh, crushing of the food item then uh, they are swallowing okay when they are at anything food with the help of the mouth uh, the holding of the food items uh, maxillae are there first pair of maxillae second pair of maxillae Re recall the diagram okay then uh, the food item enter into the oral cavity how we have the buccal cavity buccal cavity nothing but oral cavity okay oral means mouth so oral cavity in the oral cavity a secretory gland is there that is a salivary gland as like our ours also we are also having the in buccal cavity salivary glands we have the three pairs of salivary glands recall the physiology and then after mastication the food is entered into the pharynx pharynx it is a common common junction of in our body in the respiratory and digestion but it is a pharynx only plain important role in the digestion only elementary canal only not at respiration why it is not at respiration function mean uh, respiratory system time i will tell a special holes are present on the body in the cockroach in the lateral side uh, that is spiracles uh, by the with the help of the spiracles uh, food gas will be enter gas means air will be enter the inside then next one uh, pharynx leads to the next part of the esophagus the same structure we can see in our body after pharynx uh, a tube like structure it is at, uh, allowing the food item from the pharynx to stomach okay but in our body these esophagus opening into the stomach uh, here a similar stomach like structure we seen in the elementary canal in the cockroach that is a crop crop then gizzard here uh, gizzard uh, play an important role in the grinding mill grinding we have highly advanced dentition mechan dentition method we have the four type of teeth that four type of teeth food will be maximum will be crushed maximum will be grinded okay so grinded food item only will be enter inside but uh, here we are discussing about the cockroach na cockroach does not have teeth like us okay the teeth totally different teeth like structure mandibles only is there so the mandibles only will be partition the food item with some some sort of big size that big size particles 
when it is enter the crop the big size particles want to convert it into the small particles for that one gizzard structure play an important role this gizzard also called the proventriculus i will tell why it is a proventricular this gizzard has considered as a grinding mill in the olden days our people using used one rock structure or rock instrument to two rocks the one rock is rotating on the one base rock and then uh, the middle of that uh, small hole is there rice uh, or some of the pulp uh, pouring in that one they are rotating that uh, upper rock okay that type of structures uh, you seen in your, your houses uh, especially in the old days houses uh, you will find we can find it so such a type of structure is presence in the elementary canal of the gizzard that to foregut in the foregut okay up to now what we discuss the parts that is and all belongs to four gut of the cockroach okay four gut means nothing but initial starting place starting of the gut elementary canal then come to the next one these four gut leads to the next part of the mid gut these mid gut the it is not had have any different partitions okay but uh, basing on their function mid gut totally we can divide it into the two parts secretory part and absorbed part by name itself you will find which of the part in the mid gut is secreting some of the fluids some of the enzymes for the digestion purpose those part, that such part we called as a secretory part by that secretions food will be digest the digested food what it will what it will going on it will absorbed by the blood correct na in which part of the mid gut is allowing the absorption of the digested food particle into the blood that part of the mesenteron we call it mesenteron one word i used now that mid gut also called as a mesenteron so mid gut that we call as a absorbed part absorbed part See, this part significant function in the absorption of the digested food okay then next one na here i for i am missing of this this sentence hepatic cecca hepatic cecca in between of gizzard four gut we seen na in between of the gizzard and then mid gut are nothing but secretory part of the mid gut a finger like projections we find it that finger like projections we called the hepatic cecca okay the similar function in equal to the human liver okay there is also secreting some of the enzymes for that enzymes for digestion of the food items okay then here in between of these four gut and mid gut i mentioned in the one statement in the box what is their significance here gizzard is there na after gizzard a wall is there a wall okay that wall name stomodial wall stomodial wall this is the time to recall our digestive system time esophagus open into the stomach that is in between of the stomach and esophagus one sphincter is there that is sphincter cardiac sphincter or gastro uh, esophageal sphincter correct only na because of cardiac part of the stomach place that sphincter is there so that's why we called as a cardiac sphincter that sphincter significance in the food does not move the backward direction it's prevent that uh, back backward movement of the digested food i mean which food is entered into the stomach after reaching of the stomach the food is will not come to back side if food is coming to back side means uh, when we are turn the put our head in the down means automatically food everything will come out which food is present in the stomach as like cardiac sphincter here in between of the four gut and the mid gut at that to in the four gut last part gizzard and mid gut first part secretory part a small wall is there this wall name stomodial wall remember it in the mc time this is stomodial sorry neat examination time this stomodial wall information will be explained so up to board this wall name itself enough hepatic cecca and secretory part absorbed part 
these three parts we see in the mid gut. Let me continue our uh, con uh, cha topic uh, hind gut. These hind gut uh, having three distinct regions and one opening. One opening that uh, first part is a ileum, second part is a colon, and third part is a rectum. Last, uh, the rectum is open into the anal pore. Okay. In the corner, I mentioned one structure name that is a Malfusion tubules. Malfusion tubules. These Malfusion tubules, where they are existed, what their function in second column diagrammatic representation time I will explain. See, as usually in human being, what are the structures are present in the long intestine? Here, uh, we can consider as a mid gut is a small intestine. And then here this one uh, hind gut we can consider as a long long intestine. That long intestine time uh, three regions also present in our body ileum, colon, rectum. See ileum it is a absorbed part and then colon is a coiled part. It uh, colon is a co uh, it it maintain the long surface area to absorb the something food items and then rectum rectum significant function absorbing the water from the fecal matter okay uh, we can say instead of the fecal matter undigested food also that undigested food eliminated or ex excreted by the ejected by the anal pore that too in the form of the pellets form in the cup uh, Phylum Arthropoda general, general characteristic study time cockroach belongs to uricotelic acid because of uric acid they are secreting because of the water resistance, water prevention, water loss prevention that is a reason. See in between of the mid gut and hind gut feather like structures not finger like structures feather like structures we find it that feather like structures we call as a Malfusion tubules. These are the different parts present in the elementary canal of the cockroach that majority major parts foregut, midgut, hindgut, foregut starting with the mouth and ending with the gizzard. This gizzard leads to the next part of midgut. That midgut part is divided into the two different distinct regions basing on their function. That is the secretory part and the absorption part. And the hind gut, ileum, colon, and rectum. Ileum, colon, rectum, and the anus. Anal point is a opening for excretory material. In between of the absorbed part of the midgut and then ileum part of the hind gut, feather like structures are existed. Now, let me know about uh, diagrammatic representation of uh, cockroach. In the okay, see Nana on board, uh, you are all uh, observing the diagrammatic representation. Uh, in the NCRT test book, uh, they are exhibited the parts or everything in the this side test book uh, left side. Okay, for my convention conventional way, I mentioned in the that side, it is not any wrong, uh, simply. Uh, understand the parts of digestive system. See head part basically uh, by morphologically total cockroach body is divided into the three regions. One is a head region. That head region we call as a one capsule. That too it is made up of the six embryonic segments. Previous class remember it. And thora thorax that thorax made up of the three segments. That thorax names are prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Correct only na? Later, remaining part of the cockroach totally that we call the abdomen. How many segments are there? 10 segments are there. That 10 segments are equal, but they are covering with the one plate like structures. That plate like structures we call as a sclerites. Okay, that sclerite names we know we already known in the last videos. Sclerite names are tergum and then sternum and pleura. Correct only na? Now come to the digestive system analysis. The mouth parts, mouth parts totally assembled in the hypognathus head. Okay. 
instead of the normal head why i use the hypogonadal head reason you know the head it is a, this uh, located right angle to the total body that mean uh, the body if cockroach body is like this head is uh, head part uh, like uh, 90 degrees uh, angle okay right angle to the total body so that's why we consider as a hypogonadal head now the mouth parts leads to the next part to the oral cavity oral cavity leads to the next part into the uh, esophagus next part to esophagus that this is the esophagus here the beginning of the esophagus base of the esophagus uh, sac like structures are present in the either sides see in the pointer place paringa that uh, sac like structures we call the salivary glands and then, uh, salivary glands these salivary glands not at lined in the buccal cavity they are separate structure but in our body we have along with the buccal cavity skin itself uh, one is the ear pinna place uh, and below the tongue uh, sublingular these glands are present in our body but uh, uh, not these salivary glands not like us it is a slight, uh, somewhat of different one pair of uh, salivary glands are there these salivary gland secretion leads to the, in the buccal cavity in buccal cavity it is mixing with the salivary juice mixing with the food item that food item will enter into the next part of esophagus then uh, esophagus leads to the a bag like sac like structure that we call the con co consider as a crop uh, that is a similar to the stomach okay then the food crushed food not a grinded food crushed food reach the crop uh, the next part uh, gizzard is a start to their function now the food goes through the gizzard to next part of mid gut when the food is passing through the these gizzard already i said gizzard is a just like a chitinous of teeth containing a rock structure by that it will food item making into the a small grinding particles grinding particle so gizzard is a grinding mission then through the gizzard the food item will enter the mid gut from here to up to here mid gut the if you are partitioned into the mid gut into the two dif distinct region this uh, point place above part secretory part this part uh, absorbed part absorbed part so basing on their functions uh, they are secreting some of the enzymes uh, that enzymes involving in the digestion and later next one these mesenteron leads to the next part of uh, hind gut hind gut having the how many uh, regions uh, ilium colon uh, and rectum these are the major parts but that rectum opening into the small hole that is a uh, anus now here uh, in the diagrammatic representation two parts i want to show that one here uh, in the four gut uh, end position in between of the gizzard and mesenteron finger like projections are there na pointer place for na that finger like projections we called as a hepatic cecus if really you dissect the cockroach the same type of structures we can find it same same type of arrangement we can find it then this is the hepatic cecus then uh, mid gut end position in the mid gut end position nothing but uh, absorbed part it leads to the next part of hind gut uh, ilium portion uh. so in between the mid gut and hind gut that to especially absorbed part and ilium feather like structures uh. what i said in the previously malfeasian tubules these malfeasian tubules are uh, excretory in function they are playing important role in the excretion to extract the and absorbing the nitrogenous waste material from our body from the cockroach body okay sorry okay then uh, ilium will receiving the food item that to especially undigested food item in undigested food item any requirement food substances are uh, even though it is present uh, that is absorbing by the ilium then uh, after absorption food item will be enter the colon place that colon having the highly coiled in our body also colon highly coiled this colon 
this colon leads to the a tubular structure finally it will leads to the a sac like bulb like structure that is a rectum the rectum play an important role in the storage of a undigested food so what food it eat cockroach at that food essential particles are everything absorbed sorry everything is digested and then absorbing then which are the unabsorbable particle and the undigestible particle those and all reach the final in the rectum place it will convert it into the fecal matter then the they are the fecal matter excreted the fecal matter excreted by the anal pore that anus okay that is a cockroach eliminatory can the conclusion time i will be say about scientific names of a eliminatory canal part totally eliminatory canal having the three distinct regions na that three distinct regions fore gut mid gut hind gut in scientific terminology fore gut we called as a stomodium stomodium and mid gut name scientific name mesenteron last explanation time also i say, i explained mesent i used this mesenteron word and then hind gut we called as a proctodium hind gut proctodium mid gut mesenteron fore gut stomodium stoma means mouth procto means anus meso means always mid correct only na mesoderm mid middle place layer correct only so fore gut stomodium mid gut mesenteron hind gut proctodium this is about the structural arrangement of the eliminatory canal in the cockroach and then diagrammatic explanation of the cockroach eliminatory canal system in the next class blood circulatory system of the cockroach we will be know up to that